Hello people, I'm Mr. You can call me M. Page, and welcome to Geometry Dash. Now, like, I've seen people play this, and it's kind of like an older game I've seen that I have on my Xbox called The Impossible Game, where you play as a black and jump over triangles, and it's really, really frustrating, but to be honest, I need to get some gaming, and I'll... And I'm going to tell you right now, I never thought I'd make another gaming video again because Game DVR crapped out on me. But luckily I found a better game recorder in time to make a video, so let's do it. We're going to start with Stereo Madness. I don't even need practice mode. Forget practice mode. Let's just play the game. So yeah, you play as a square and you have to not die, essentially. The only button you have is jump, and honestly that's the only button you need because gameplay can't get much simpler than... Well, this has gotten off to a great start. Okay, this time I'm gonna be a little more focused and I can get further this time because I am good at games and this is gonna be proof of it. I'm gonna show you how awesome I am at games by playing this awesome game. Because there's not much to it, you gotta... Okay, that time I let go, what the hell? Like, a lot of people see frust nothing but frustration and aggravation in these kinds of games and stress. But me, I can see games for their true potential. This is like the kind of game you play to listen to cool music, take your mind off the world around you, and just, you know, just chill out a bit. Okay, this is new. There are, there are spaceships now. How do you, how do I spaceship? Okay, so A is up and letting go is down. I'm all wiggling around my little wiggly spaceship. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. And I'm blocking again. Didn't see that in Impossible Game. Ah, oh, I missed a coin! Come on! Yeah, if you didn't tell me with the dang coin, I would have probably gotten further. What was that? I jumped! <sighs> okay. It's just a game trying to make me mad. That's all the game wants. It wants me to get angry so that I'll do nothing more in my life than keep playing, but I can be productive. I'm gonna get far in this level and no one's gonna stop me. Practice mode can go screw itself because I don't need no stinking practice. I got this. I've played the Impossible Game too many times to not get this. I mean, granted, I never beat the Impossible Game, but... Okay, that time I didn't even look at the screen. I can't talk to my audience? What the hell? Okay, then... Is it my face? Does this game have a problem with my face? Is that the thing? Can it somehow see my webcam? Like, I have like a crappy webcam plugged into the actual computer. Not that one, it's a different one that runs at 40p, 25 frames per second, and is friggin' all fully disgusting to look at. But then again, the game didn't say I had access to my webcam privileges. Maybe I should put some tape on the webcam later, just in case. I was like, I was like, you know how people get like turn on your webcam to your nudes? Not that I'm ever nude in this room, but like, it doesn't hurt to have a little bit of privacy concern every now and then. You just ask my mom. Jump, jump, miss, miss. Oh crap! You're supposed to jump after you miss. Okay, I got the pattern now. I can get that coin. I will get that coin and nothing's gonna stop me. Oops! Did I say nothing's gonna stop me? I meant nothing out of my own will is going to stop me. Like, me, me doing, me failing on accident because I'm a friggin' idiot, that is still in the likely realm of possibility. And here we go. I love this Pendo music. It's like it combines high-paced action with the real with the sense of lack of urgency. It's like you can relax and yet at the same time it's awesome music. Down, 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 jump. Am I in hell now? Is this hell? If I die here, it's hell. Okay. Everything seems normal so far. Aw oh, crap, I missed a coin! I don't care. Oh wait, what are these chains for? That's what I want. What? 
Yeah, curiosity killed the cat. More like curiosity f***ed my ass. Ugh, that's how that's how it is. It's like it's like you're looking around, everything's nice, everything's cool, and then you, and then you ask a question, and boom, it screws you over. Wee! I'm a freaking rocket ship. It's awesome. I'm a rocket ship, but I can't fire lasers, and I'm back to a block again. Really, I have to recollect the coin after I die? That's kind of a stupid way of playing the game. Why not just let me keep the coins I have? Like, I don't want to take stupid alternate paths just to get a freaking coin again. Like, it's going to be ingrained in my brain to take that alternate path every time I want that coin. And then I'm going to replay it for fun, and I'll forget there's an easy path, keep trying to take the hard path, and then die a hard times, even though I played this already. Well, not now, I mean in the future, because this is the first time I'm playing this game. And believe it or not, it actually looks better playing it in person than it does on YouTube. But then again, the YouTube version has a very high presentation. Hey! What was that? What was that? I could die from hitting the ceiling now. Okay, but the ceiling has no spikes on it. How does that work? How the hell does that work? Alright, there we go. At least I remember my place. Now I get to do the spaceship again. At least the spaceship segments are fun. It's like practically impossible for me to die. There's no hidden coins to worry about. I just gotta not touch the ceiling, not touch the ground, and pretty much just not think much about things. Okay, that was an easier way to get the coin, which I know that earlier. Oh crap! I blinked! What is this, the try not to blink challenge? Mm. Okay, I'm noticing like a little bit of input lag, but that, I think that's pretty normal because I'm playing this on a high def TV and I'm, I remember having adjusted for this lag when I played the Impossible game on the Xbox 360, so it doesn't really bother me that much. Because it feels like one of those not urgent type games. It's like it combines like the music of a it combines the music of a not urgent type game and the presentation of a not urgent type game with the precision and accuracy of a precision type game. It's like you need to worry, but you don't need to worry that much. It's like the kind of thing that it's trying to help you keep on your toes but not make you explode. So I guess it's a form of relaxation, in my opinion. But then again, what do I know about games? I'm just, uh, I'm just 21. I just became an adult, like, a couple months ago. What do I know about things? Crap. Jump over the spikes and jump over the floor and jump up, 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 go down. And here comes the jet plane. I am a green cube and I'm flying through space and this is awesome. The techno music's playing hard. This feels awesome. Gotta grab the coin again. Jump, 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 down, 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 down. And I'm in hell again, but it doesn't bother me. I've been to hell and back. Go f*** yourself. I shouldn't say that on YouTube, but good thing I got the bleep button on standby while I'm editing the videos. This feels awesome. Oh, crap! I missed a coin again! This keeps getting to my brain I don't know if I can be playing This a spaceship looks cool Oh crap, I missed a coin! 
I don't care. I just want to beat this now. I don't. I don't give a damn about points. Like, like keep your money. I'm in this for the fans. That's why I want to beat this sucker. Because I want to show that games can be beaten. It's like it's like that one guy that said that thing. It's like it's like fairy tales are real, not in a sense that dragons exist, but in a sense that dragons can be beaten. That's what this game's like. It's not that. It's not that the game is realistic or is anything impressive to look at by modern standards, but it is a game that you can play, it's a game that you can enjoy, and that's pretty much all I care about. That's why people like the 8-bit... I gotta... I gotta focus. Dude, like, the, 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 it's like the presentation... Uh, it's like... It's like, the graphics are impressive, but they don't have to be. Because, like, the Impossible game didn't have much graphics either, and it had a certain appeal. Because, like, like... I believe in, like, gameplay over visuals and sound. It's like, Undertale has, like, a retro game style going for it, but it has, like, a cool soundtrack and a killer story to go with it. And then there's Minecraft. The soundtrack is all mellow and stuff, and everything's made of Lego, I think. Well, kind of Lego, like blocks. If you want real Lego, play Roblox. Uh, but I never played Roblox, so I can't vouch for that. But you know how it is. It's like, if you can play a game, enjoy it, have fun, and like, like you know, all the typical things you expect from games, it doesn't matter how it looks or how it sounds, because like, a lot of people care more about graphics nowadays, but hey, it's a game, not your girlfriend. Looks shouldn't matter. All that matters is how it plays. Holy crap, I'm in the rocket again! It's like I'm playing Dance Dance Revolution with this music. Except the only button I'm pressing is A, and there's no me getting up moving around. I won! Holy crap, I won! I beat the level! <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's awesome. How long have I been playing? 14 minutes? I think I can go for one more cheeky round. Let's play back on track. This doesn't sound so hard. Okay, now we got trampolines. This should be fun. Whee! I didn't even press a... Okay, so apparently I do have to pay attention. I thought trampolines were supposed to help me with the game, like... It's like I jump, it jumps for me so I don't have to. I, I, can you at least give me one chance to look my audience in the eye? Okay, that time the trampoline killed me, what the hell. I trusted you, Mr. Trampoline, and you had to, and you had to go off and do some kind of stupid crap. I, I consider myself in a love-hate relationship with trampolines. There's times when they're helpful and times when they can screw you over. But then again, there's also moments where my own stupidity can screw me up, so... What do I know about games? It's just me, and it? It's like, ow! It's like, you think you know a game and then BAM! It, it, it throws a curveball at you, changes the rules, and tells you to snap out of it. But by the time you do that, you have to start all over like a Because <laughs> you're basically this game's at this point. Like, this game's got you by the balls, or lack of balls if you're a female. I don't know how, I don't know how to be politically correct on YouTube anymore. This is why I made a Vimy account, because on Vimy, I don't have to be politically correct. I just have to be entertaining, but I have to keep censoring myself for YouTube because YouTube's trying to go family friendly because that's what parents want because parents actually think they care about their kids by trying not to expose them to a bunch of bullcrap on YouTube but then it turns out they actually don't care about their kids because they're leaving they're leaving them alone with the YouTube in the first place that makes you irresponsible parents it doesn't make YouTube an irresponsible website if they happen to come across something dirty disgusting or profane that's your fault for letting them use it. Like, be in, like be a parent to your kids. Like, like, be there when they need you the most. Don't just shove them in front of a tablet and say, go fetch or go play. What am I saying? <sighs> like, I mean, I can't attest to most of the things that parents do because I'm not a parent, but I am an uncle. And that means 
And that means, as people, I should know what's right for kids. And YouTube on its own isn't right for kids, and... In a sense, YouTube Kids isn't even right for kids, because, like, there's people that can cheat the algorithm to find their way onto YouTube Kids, and... No matter how many changes YouTube makes... No matter how many changes YouTube makes, someone's... Someone's gonna find a loophole in the algorithm and abuse it again. I mean... I mean... Like... Like, the only way to stop kids from getting exposed to YouTube is to stop YouTube from existing. And that sure as hell is not happening because there's so many people that enjoy watching content, people of all ages, and there's so people, so many people of all ages that enjoy making content on the site. As long as it's making the money and as long as we're all having fun with it, YouTube's not going away. So if you want your kids, if you want your kids to enjoy YouTube and enjoy it responsibly, you have to actively take control of what they do. Watch over them when they watch, or set limits on how long they watch, or set limits on what channels they can watch. Just don't rely on YouTube to do your job. You're the parents, you do the parenting. I don't know why I'm getting all political about kids crap while playing Geometry Dash, but that's the thing about my channel. I can be serious one minute and then be f myself over the next. Come on! What? Did the controller disconnect? Ah! I'm gonna be here forever! I forgot to press jump! Like, that's the thing about this game. You stare at the you stare at the beginning parts for so long you start to get sensory deprivation. It's like at first you play the beginning parts so well you get good at them and that makes you better at the rest of the game because your reflexes have improved. But then you start going through a phase where your skills are weakened because you're playing through the same beginning part over and over and over again, getting sensory deprivation. Then by the time you come across the next part of the level, you're not ready. Getting to the point where you tend to die in the very easy parts you've already passed, and then standing no chance in the later part of the level. This is a sign of, like, having played a game for so long, you need to take a break. But, I'm not giving up until I finish this. Oh, I unlocked a new color? Okay. Now it can be blue! Because that changes the game. If I'm... Because, like, I've had such a hard time being green, but if I go to my options and change my color to blue, I bet that'll make the game a whole lot easier! What the f- <sighs> Come on, please, just work with me. I need to go to bed. I need to do things tomorrow. It was a bad idea for me to record this game in the middle of the night, but I didn't get the idea until just now, and you know how inspiration is. It can't be the kind of thing you can put off, else you start to realize it was maybe the dumbest idea in the history of the world. But then again, even if certain video ideas I have are the dumbest ideas in the history of the world, I make them anyway, because so long as they're, so long as they're within my power and they are at least tolerable to the viewers, and I can see some sort of long-term or short-term entertainment value, it's worth posting. Like, literally anything can be art. Like, like, it's like Albert Einstein once said, anyone can be a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it'll spend its entire life believing it's stupid. So, yeah, I may not be good at heavy lifting or talking to people or paying attention or writing, but there's one thing, I, but there are things I'm good at. It's playing games, making people happy, trying to understand emotions the best I can. Like, like, it's like, it's like, like, I can do research. I can do online shopping. I can do gaming. I can do videos. I can do comedy. As long as there's things I can do, it doesn't matter what people say about the things I can't do because I know I'm a genius in my own right. Just because I'm a genius in my eyes doesn't mean I'm a genius in everyone else's eyes. And just because I'm an idiot when it comes to like physical labor and some facets of common sense, 
that doesn't mean I'm an idiot in all facets of life. I can do comedy, I can do gaming, I can do, I can do the YouTube, and I can make friends. I have friends on the internet, and I have friends in real life. So, and as long as, and as long as I can believe that I can provide entertainment to at least some facet of people, then I know I'm doing the right thing! <sighs> Even though this game keeps telling me I'm a friggin' idiot. I mean, like, this is like the kind of game that pretty much makes idiots. It's like, you die, you go back. You die, you go back. And then, and then your, and then your brain gets fuzzy about where, where you were at at your farthest point. Which means by the time you get to the farthest point, you're likely to make the same mistake again. I'm not gonna go for a perfect three coin run on every level because that would require more time than I have on this earth. And I have more things I want to do. I want to make gaming videos with people. I want to make more of the reaction videos that made this channel so popular. I want to make more comedy sketches, more horror stuff. I just want to make stuff that I know people will see, or at least represents me artistically, because I am a creative, and in, because I am a creative individual who who seeks inspiration from many sources. I, I, I just wish I was, I just wish I was, I wish just wish I was the kind of person that puts, that allocates more time into these types of things, but, but then again. Like, there's always the kind of guy that takes breaks, and I'm the kind of guy that takes breaks because I'm the type of guy that needs breaks. Because if you... If you give me all the time and resources I need to work on something, then that's all I'm gonna do is that something. I need someone to remind me to simmer down and take a break once in a while, because if I don't, then I'm gonna royally s*** myself. Ugh. But then again, I'm also the kind of guy that pushes things to the last minute, so what do I know? Okay, this is my 50th attempt, so I'm just gonna stop right here if I die. Because I think I've been playing this game for too long, and it's starting to screw with my vision. Yep. I think 69% is far enough. I'm gonna leave this video here, and I wanna thank y'all for watching this. And hearing me ramble about random crap. If you want to see me more, play more Geometry Dash and talk about more random crap, give this video a like and let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Check out some other videos I made. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.